All right, you've likely heard about that ski train that goes from Union Station to Denver out to Winter Park. But now CDOT is looking to keep that train rolling to even more ski resorts. Your reporter in the mountains, Spencer Wilson, found out how soon we could see this train and what it would mean for places like Steamboat and Craig. It's a cozy ride up in the wintertime to Grand County, skipping I-70 traffic and allowing passengers to relax instead of getting behind the wheel. Now, CDOT is starting a research project into whether or not they'll add more passenger trains to the same line of railroad, all the way from Denver to the northwest part of the state. It could transport skiers um, up to, say, Granby and Steamboat, and it can also help um, folks who work in Steamboat, but live in, say, Hayden or Craig. Tim Hoover with CDOT says there used to be passenger trains that did that back in the 1960s, but the line was mostly used for moving coal ever since. Now that Craig is moving away from coal production, there's more space on the line. The question is, will people use it if they get the trains running again? Is it, um, is it um, decent for weekdays um, as well as weekends? Um, what about seasons? Um, you know, where are the trips coming from? Is it Denver folks going up? Is it Craig folks just traveling in the Yampa Valley? There's likely a little infrastructure work to be done as well, switching from trains carrying coal to people. Passenger rail has to run on pretty smooth rail um, just so that the, you know, passengers are not bumping up and down in their seats and so forth. Cargo does not need um, to be as a smooth a ride. The benefits sound enticing, especially for commuters in mountain towns battling through rough weather on the roads and painful parking options, let alone the fact you get to take it easy instead of riding it out on the road. You can take a nap, you can um, have a meal, you can read a book, you can maybe do some work if, they, if you want to do that, or you can just enjoy the scenery. Since this is just a study, there is no telling when, if at all, the train will come in. But CDOT's best guess is five years' time. In the high country, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. And Spencer covers Colorado's high country like no one else. He lives in Summit County and he'll go anywhere and do pretty much anything to get the good reporting. He gets to fish on camera, used a blowtorch to search for a missing engagement ring. He's also taken a ride on a pack mule as luggage. Spencer is always looking for stories that are important to the mountain community, both big and small. You can reach him through our website, cbscolorado.com, or give him a call and leave him your story idea on our tips line.